Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so for uh, most of my current subscribers, this lesson on vectors is actually pretty easy, uh, but it's in the natural order of what I should teach next on vectors, and we need this lesson for more sophisticated lessons to come on vectors. So yeah, um, let's get started by considering a vector in 2D called U. Um, so our vector U in 2D here has a horizontal component A and a vertical component B here. Now, while U here is a vector and it comes with components, A and B are scalars, they're numbers, right? And they signify the length of the horizontal component, um, that's A, and then the length of the vertical component with B, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, let's get a visual for our purple vector U. So our purple vector U is this vector U here that's made of this horizontal vector in maroon and this vertical vector in what's supposed to be blue. And I don't know what color this is, yeah. Um, math is my subject. Okay, <laughs> now A here represents the length of the horizontal vector and B represents the length of the vertical component. But here, U is this vector. So A and B are not vectors, but U here is a vector. But what we want is the length of U. So we put absolute value bars around the vector U. When you put absolute value bars around a vector's name, then you're talking about not the vector, but its length. So once we put absolute value bars around this u vector here, then we're no longer talking about this vector u, we're talking about the length of this vector u. So then we'll have three numbers and we can apply Pythagorean theorem. Doing so, we get to this equation. That is a squared, uh, this length squared, plus b squared, which is this length squared, will equal c squared, which is, um, in our case, the length of the vector u squared, and that's this guy squared, yeah? The length of this vector squared, yeah? Okay, cool. And then it's pretty easy to see that we square root both sides to get to the length of the, length of the vector u. <laughs> Sorry, I've been re-recording this video for a little bit and I'm stumbling over my own words. But yeah, um, so this is the equation for the length of a vector u uh, with horizontal component a and vertical component b, right okay and if we look at a vector in three dimensions let's call it v for variety's sake all we'll have is an additional component here that we can call c yeah all right and the um length of this vector v will will then have to be this here and so you see the formulas are very similar if you can remember one it's pretty easy to remember the other and it's equally easy to actually uh, do problems where you know you know, the entries of the vector u and the entries of the vector v, yeah? And we'll look at a couple of examples, so don't fret. All right, now, for showing you the visual in 3D, it's not worth it. It's not worth your time or my time. Um, it's basically similar to finding the longest uh, diagonal of um, a rectangular prism. So if you've done that, you know that it's double application of the Pythagorean theorem, nothing terribly interesting. But if anyone is dying in curiosity, then let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about the visual in 3D. All right, so then let's get on with our examples and wrap up. Example one. All right, let's look at this vector uh, and we called it V here. And it doesn't matter in 2D and we know the 2D formula. So we plug in. The only caution is this here is negative three. So make sure you put um, parentheses around the negative three before you square it so that you don't get a negative quantity in this case inside the square root, yeah? All right, cool. Otherwise, this is pretty straightforward, and uh, the length of this vector v then is root 10. And uh, an example in 3D is just as easy to calculate, uh, but let's look at it anyway, uh, in case someone wants to see it. And here, I've intentionally called the vector x here, because in 3D, you can think of this as an x component, y component, and z component, but this here, x, a component would not have a bar or an arrow over it like this, right? So uh, this here, even if we called it x, would represent uh, the horizontal component of this vector or the uh, back, the component of this vector along the x-axis, but it's still this here as a number, yeah? Okay, okay, and that's why I intentionally called the vector x because in some books they do that and I thought maybe some of you are confusing calling a vector x, which comes with components, with an x component, which is not a vector, just a number, right? Okay, okay, anyway, um, hopefully that taught you something because the rest of this isn't going to teach you much. The lesson about putting negatives in parentheses already said, and if you simplify, then you get that the length of this vector, x is equal to 5, yeah? And I'm done, uh, but lots more vector videos to come, so keep an eye out and keep watching. Take care.